Welcome to DJ MTV. I bring to Nana. Welcome now once again to DJ MTV. Make sure you do it. Follow us, like, share, subscribe. As I am, they bring all the Obonga music. Come your way. This one not be them. Say them. Say this one. I see for yourself. Make you hear for yourself. And to the news, the current entertainment is not given now. All of us know this popular Nigeria actor, whether they call Blossom. He has to have done come out to talk why their marriage not really last, though. Though she not go into details, but she talk many, many things about this guy. My people, I want to play on the video. Make on a year waiting, she talk concerning her marriage and her relationship with her ex husband. Make on a watch this video reach the end. I don't know about his personal life. You should get him on What? I don't know anything about his personal life. Did you hear that? You heard what she said, right? She I says, don't know anything. Whatever she, about. whatever you heard me say, she, she you said. You know it. the one thing. I no, no, no. You know the it. one thing I'm never going to do anymore is defend him. This five, six years, or the earlier part of our breakup. Well, all I did him. was no. All I did was defend him, and I wasn't. I wasn't defending him because I felt like I needed to. But I felt like, regardless of everything that happened, I'm never going to stop saying that he's a good person. He's a good guy. In fact, the reason why I stayed in that marriage till the fifth year, and I wanted to stay for the next 90 years, was his personality. If he was faking it, if he was staging it, if he was acting it, I don't know. He's a good guy. But that was never enough. Like, I wanted to leave from the first year. I wanted to leave from the, from the first year. I would call his mom. She would tell me how... It's against the Bible. It's not the thing that God wants. Or praying for you, Spanish everything. Pastors, right? Yeah, the pastors. Yeah, oh. we're praying for you. We we'll put you in the devotion. Everything will get better. I called in the second year. We really talk. In fact, my parents wanted me. My parents are against divorce. My family are against divorce, but my parents were okay with me leaving. My parents would tell me, "Red, you need to leave," and I'll be like, "We can work it out." I will call his mom, she will give me reasons why we cannot divorce, why it's not of the Lord, don't worry, it'll get better. And then magically, he says it was done and they were okay with it. Like, I was shocked. Like, it seemed you guys that were telling me every year to stay, so how come your son comes up to you and tells you, oh, he's done and surprisingly, you threw, you threw away God out of the window and what God wants. I'll tell you one thing I said, and I regret to date, yeah? I said to him, I said, okay, I can't say the things I said, because I'll be me telling the story. But I said, Look how she's teasing us. I don't want any of this any, in fact, I'm willing to, us. I'm willing to, I'm okay with whatever is happening in our marriage. I'm good with it. I can live with it. But please don't leave. I remember saying that to him, that I'll stay. I'll stay, I'll take whatever it is in the marriage. I would never, because I was afraid of, like, our marriage was the celebrity marriage. And I didn't want the impression of, because obviously, if we, if I left the marriage, people would think, it, people would think it's my fault till today. People think I'm the reason. People think, because he's remarrying and you hear people say things like, oh, he's got, he got a better person, he dodged a bullet. Oh, then, and I just laughed. Did you make money from the marriage? Why am I making money? What's my business with him? Like, did you make money from the marriage, like, endorsement? Why now, like, when you have a celebrity? That was not even my concern. My major, I don't even, I can't even remember. That's how I don't even remember. But my major concern was, it's not about remarrying. It's just making sure you don't make a girl Technically go through the same thing I went through. Huh? Technically, you all still married. No, I'm not, but I hear, I, I, I hear. I, from what I but know would from you, the law. My dad even called, when that happened, my dad reached out to his dad. And it's like, oh, I'm, I just heard that your son is remarrying. Uh, there was no, uh, I, we didn't get any paper for divorce. What's the deal? And then his dad goes, because my dad told me what his dad said. My dad, his dad says, oh, that's your, but they are divorced already. Your daughter signed the papers. And my dad is like, sign what papers? Oh, my son sat with his lawyer and your daughter for three hours. And she signed the papers. And my dad called me and like, Babe, if I sat down with somebody for three hours and signed papers, don't you, before I even make up and dress up and say I want to go somewhere to sign, I would have called you. 
because I'll need you. I would need your opinion. So if he, he kept on he kept on telling me, I know, and that's why I was telling him that my daughter did not sign it because she would have called me. So that one just made me laugh because I'm like, so and actual, I wasn't shocked. Because are they actual documents or that was just made up? That was just made up, but I'm not shocked. That's him. I've not, I said I've not set eyes on this man since what, from the moment he walked out of me till today. So when did I sit down for three hours with him to sign in papers? So was he making sure that also if his father said that, of course it was made up. My people, open and now the video finish. Now don't hear what she shit talk. What people gonna take for this matter? Drop your comment for comment section. Like and share this video. Or to come your way again, make people always do it to stay safe. Una do. DJ. DJ.